pitfalls in the diagnosis of red cell disorders, I would say when we're talking about diagnosing anemias, we've got a very traditional way of looking at it. And if you look at any hematology textbook, you can see that we divide immediately the anemia into the size of the red cell. So are the red cells big, are they small, or are they normal sized? And actually, I don't think that's the most important question we should be looking at. I think the most important thing is we should be thinking, is the bone marrow working or not? And we've got a really good way of looking into that, which is called the reticulocyte count. And I have no idea why people don't seem to like the reticulocyte. Very few people even think to check it, but that's what I was talking about in the pitfalls day, that if we look at the reticulocyte count and assess whether it's high or normal or low, and sometimes a normal value will actually be low for the degree of anemia, then that should give us a great clue as to what we should be looking for as the cause of the anemia. So I think if we could sort of revolutionize how we think of investigating anemias and use the reticulocyte count as our first clue, it would help us come to an answer much more quickly.